Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back. We're gonna take a look at your weekend. Messages here, September, oh my goodness. September 12th through the 14th, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take the fits, leave the rest. Make sure you do put a like on the, on the video. Um, and also, if you enjoy my readings here, do consider subscribing. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see, okay, you're starting with the lovers, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> so this could be self-love. There's a decision being made in regards to love. You know, it's kind of like, let's see if we can just see other things, right? But obviously, the reading wants to speak the way it wants to speak. So there's definitely a love decision being made here over the weekend. Or you could be connecting with someone or meeting the love of your life over the weekend. Some of you might be reconciling with someone, but there is definitely a connection being made here. And But it's mostly like two people making a decision here to go forward together. All right, so that is going to be showing up here over this weekend, like two people being in agreement. Okay. You also might be struggling a little bit too with some finances over the weekend. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, you might have some charges that you didn't know about. They just kind of get withdrawn out of your account, or you might feel like you don't have enough money to pay a bill. You might see that over this weekend. Um, a little bit, there could be some financial losses on a global scale. Something might happen over the weekend globally with some financial, like a financial loss or somebody might not be paying you back or they don't have enough money to pay you back. So keep an eye out for your money because the five does represent uncertainty. So do keep your eyes like closely uh, watchful on your bank accounts and your, your income and your alcohol. Okay. There might be a delay also in a payment or a paycheck or if you get like a direct deposit or somebody owes you like there's a company or a person owes you money might be delayed over the weekend you might have to wait until like monday all right let's see what else is going on wow okay so i see you spending some time with family or whomever you call your soul tribe over this weekend there might be a picnic or an outdoor event um where there's like, like family, like people, a lot of support, like people that you are very close to. Um, you might be attending a wedding or some type of maybe an engagement of some sort. You might find out about an engagement. You could be like at a picnic or something and someone proposes. Could it be to you? It could be. Um, for others, it, you could just be witnessing this. But this is mostly about family, being very connected to your family over this weekend. Or spending time going somewhere with them this weekend. Or seeing them. Okay, what else do you have? All right. Save the Hierophant. So, yeah, there's definitely something coming up too with your belief system, your morals, and your values. You might be taking a look at that over the weekend as well. Maybe you're going to start attending church. Some of you might be going to church and making a decision to do that or switch or um, stop being involved with religion and get into something more spiritual. But the Hierophant does represent conformity. So there is an energy here of following some kind of tradition or roles or rules. Okay, so it's something you could be thinking about or might be presented. You might be given some type of a handbook over this weekend that you have to go over kind of memorize it some type of like rules and regs uh, they might it might be like a job sends it out to you or gives you some type of like yeah like a handbook like make sure you go over this handbook these rules and the regulations or your you know fine tooth combing through some small print this weekend or you might need to all right so you have the ten of wands okay so I want to say for the Ten of Wands, Virgo, you're really pushing yourself hard or you have been all week, the past week, physically. You might be exhausted, like physically exhausted, drained completely. I, I feel like perhaps on Friday, you're just coming to the end of this 
maybe just too many burdens and I feel like you put some boundaries up over this weekend and you say no I feel like you say no because you can't you can't carry any more of a load here and if you haven't thought about doing that that might be something that you need to do you know like start delegating the the work because you're doing too much you've been doing too much this weekend I feel like the message is start offloading some of this excess and protect your space and protect your peace so so whatever you whatever's going on for you this weekend I'm hearing don't take on extra you've been you always take on everything you always take on the most and sometimes Virgos are just like never mind I'll do it because I know I'll get it done right <laughs> but you know what that's a perfectionist trauma kind of thing yes Virgos generally do get things done properly and done right but you know what at the expense of your your exhaustion your mental health and your stress perhaps it's okay to have a little imperfection and let somebody else take care of something over this weekend you know um, I'm hearing you know if you give them a mile they'll take 10 miles so you know just go just give what you're required to give and nothing more and nothing less I don't generally say that because I think having a good work ethic will get you far but I feel like whoever I'm talking to here you have been going the distance and you're gonna burn yourself out you can burn yourself out so just say no over this weekend okay you do have a fire sign showing up this weekend who will be very significant masculine or feminine energy let's take a look and see what we can see about that fire sign okay so this person they're not sure what they want to do this is what i'm hearing this fire sign is kind of like i hear you're going to get a maybe from them if you have a question or something that you need from this person, I feel like they might give you maybe, or they're not sure, they're not committing to anything over this weekend. So if you had something set up over this, like the previous week, and you needed them to respond or to do something, it feels like they're just kind of like, eh. They're not saying yes and they're not saying no, but they're just being very vague. They're giving you a maybe which a maybe is not a yes so i would take a maybe as a no um i also feel like there is a fire sign who is kind of fantasizing about you as well it's a separate message um they're having dreams about you or they well i should say they will be they could be right now but or last night but they will be over this weekend dreaming because <laughs> i'm dreaming i can't sing i'm like my voice is not fully back yet um okay so yeah that's kind of playing out there a little bit i just uh this person's like in they're like insane <laughs> they're just saying to me they're they have like these visions of grandeur they're not really grounded in reality this person okay so i also have the sun so there could be a child of significance here over this weekend but this is also like a joyous outcome and success so whatever you're working on uh, or have been working on this past week i feel like um th this is a positive this is yes i feel like you're gonna have some type of success in some endeavor or something that you've been working on or that you just start working on over this weekend some of you might just be uh spending some time more time out in the sun catching the last bit of the the rays depending on where you live in the the country or wherever you are just kept, kept trying to spend some time outside or being playful or doing something playful and fun over the weekend maybe something childlike or with children so yeah i do feel like that is playing out here too let me see Uh, I do feel too that some of you are going to get like a brand new car, but it's, it's, um, they're giving me like a compact car. Like it's small. It's not a sedan. It's not an SUV. It's not a truck. It's like the, the smallest car. Um, either you just purchase one or you're going to be getting one. I mean, it's, it's a little, it's a fast little car, but it's it's not a big gas guzzler it's a little car it might even be solar power solar power electric it could be or you might be looking at that over the weekend 
solar, uh, like an electric vehicle. Yeah, an EV could be looking at that or a hybrid. Or maybe you're looking at one for someone or just considering it over the weekend. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm also, they're just bringing me back to this Queen of Wands. I guess I'm masculine or feminine. Um, this Queen of Wands also has like a drinking problem. They don't know when to say no. Um, or they're recovered from it, but they're still in the, they still have that mindset. I don't know what that means. Or how that relates to you. Or, they, or that you might come in contact with them over the weekend and they're dry, like they're like dry. They don't drink, but they might tell you they've been thinking about it a lot lately. So there might be a conversation. Maybe you'll help them with something in regards to that. Okay, so you also have the world. Um, so some of you are going to finally finish something that you started. And it's going to happen over this weekend. Something you've been working on, you're going to complete it over this weekend. Um, whether it's a lesson, maybe you're you work in like you're a teacher of some sort, or you're doing some papers, or in university of some sort, finishing some papers. I'm I'm picking up completion. Maybe you can finish that book that you're writing or reading. There's definitely an element of something ending here. You might be working online and you get something finished or somebody finishes something and it comes to you. Something gets completed here. Also, there's like a goal, like you reach a goal over this weekend. I feel like this is, I feel like this is a goal that you've been working on previously. Okay. All right. Yes, you have major success. You're going to get a lot of attention. All eyes on you this weekend, Virgo. You're the star of the show. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, right? <laughs> um, I see you being very confident. I see you not giving up. I, you're definitely not a quitter over this weekend, but you're going to get recognition of some sort for what you complete or what you succeed or the success you gain over this weekend. It could be like a ceremony or you're celebrated. There's victory here. So, yeah. There's a lot of people. There's good news coming in. But there's a lot of people um, celebrating you. Some kind of success. Yeah, you're going to... I don't know if you have some fans. Or you just have people like supporters or people who are around you. Or just really like coming in to congratulate you. Maybe it's a graduation of some sort or something you've complete. You, I, I, we see that you complete something, you finish something, but I don't know, a lot of people rooting for you, you know? Like they put you up on this high horse. You're very unique and special of something that you're doing, Virgo, that's to all these other people, I guess maybe to you, it doesn't feel like it was that difficult to do, like anyone could do it, but because you're confident, you kind of view it like that. But these other people who are cheering you on, they don't see themselves being able to do what you've done. Okay, so they kind of feel like they're in a lower tier than you and they, they raise you up high. So there's a lot of like clapping and applause and recognition and, and good news and, you know, that kind of energy coming through over this weekend. So it's very positive. It, this whole reading is very positive. You also have the Ace of Swords. So there's a new idea. You get this new idea, Virgo, how to overcome some kind of conflict, right? You have like a light bulb moment. This is like mental clarity. Some of you might be scheduling surgery for the future or um, having surgery over this weekend. It's going to be a success. Again, that's another victory card. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So there's some kind of, um, uh, they're telling me like a, a creative work and idea or plan that you you have a light bulb moment about this over the weekend and it, it does it does relate to being able to make money like you're gonna get so it, it if you have an idea right now or something that you've been brainstorming or you come up with it over this weekend i feel like the message they're saying here is to go for it or you might have some ideas reflected back to you if you talk to other people i'm hearing people are like i'm Either they're telling you or it's just the spirit saying, go for this idea. Go do this. 
because this is a, like a cash cow I'm hearing. You're going to be able to make money at this, this thing. And it feels like something that no one's done before. So it's very unique and creative. <clears throat> Some kind of, I don't know, prospect or project or plan or idea that you come up with to make money. And it's going to work. I'm hearing it's going to work. Okay. So be careful of gossips and people spying on you over the weekend as well. Um, be careful who you tell things to or and be careful the things you seek out, right? Because if you're looking for something, you'll always find it. So maybe make the decision to not <laughs> go down a rabbit hole too much. But I'm also seeing you doing some research and being very inquisitive over this weekend, right? But there's also other people around you who are also very inquisitive and very curious about you, kind of watching you spying on you a little bit over this weekend yes um there's somebody here who's looking to see you oh that's that's harsh there's someone who's wa waiting to see you fail <laughs> so they can feel better about themselves mm-hmm It's almost like somebody wants you to fail or they want you to not succeed. So either they could say, I told you so. So they can stay on some kind of high horse, like whatever. Let's look at love. So you do have a secret admirer showing up over this weekend. <laughs> yes, somebody comes out of the woodwork with a love offer. And like we said, we did see the lovers in the beginning of the reading. Um, okay, wow. So you have the Knight of Wands as well. Yeah, there's two people here who are just hot to trot for each other and definitely have romantic feelings. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. But there is... Um, I don't know if you're going to find out about this over the weekend. You might. But I do feel like there is someone here who's secretly in love with you, is secretly physically attracted to you. But they're, they're keeping... They're holding back. They're not saying anything. Could also be a water sign or a fire sign. Okay, look, and there's you in your in your own reading. Got the hermit. Virgo's like, let me let me get the flashlight. I need to see who the hell this is. Hello, was anybody there? Because <laughs> you're like Virgo, you're so often on your own doing your own thing that you, like you have blinders on. That's why you're successful in life. Most Virgos are very successful um, in business, but it's kind of like uh, I just see you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're going to a haunted house, haunted something over this weekend, they just said, too. I see you getting out the flashlight. Either either you're, like, trying to illuminate things around you to see, like, what the fuck's going on, or you might lose your power over this weekend, and you're walking around the house with a candle or a flashlight. Be careful with that. Don't stub your toe, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you go outside. You hear a noise outside. Oh, this is a little spooky. You hear a noise outside or you, you're trying to get your cat to come in or your dog or you're going out and around back with a flashlight to see who's out there. <sighs> Boom! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's definitely... Okay, so yeah, we're kind of going into the spook season, so might be something there going on. <laughs> Virgo's like, it's yesterday was 110 degrees, and now I'm going outside with my flashlight. Is this really snow on the ground? You might have some extreme weather changes that you're experiencing too over this weekend, too. It's like, what the hell? It was really hot. Now it's super, super cold. Okay. Um, so the Six of Cups, okay. There's a connection with some siblings over this weekend as well, but there's also uh, remembering or spending time with a sibling or just remembering. The, the childhood days, the childhood times, the past, reconciling with the past as well, um, being very nostalgic. Um, there might be a reunion too between you and your past. There might be like a past, um, could be like a reunion with friends or lovers or some, there's just somebody, there's the past is coming back, okay, over this weekend. It's going to show up over this weekend. Not necessarily in a physical form, it's more an emotional form. And it could be somebody else reminiscing about the past with you, desiring that reunion, or just thinking about what it could be like to be together again and spend some time together. 
Um, for some, it's a king of cups. For others, it's a king of wands. Um, could be a couple of people. You might be thinking about past people. And, you know, it's fleeting. You're not going down deep. You know, the six of cups in the upright is kind of like momentarily reminiscing. If it was in the reverse, it would be more like being stuck on the past and not being able to move on or living in the past or having unrealistic expectations. But it's in the upright, so I don't feel like it's that. It's more along the lines of something might trigger you over the weekend to think about a couple people that you knew from before. But it's also a good sign because it kind of feel like it doesn't really trigger you to the point where you get stuck on it. And for some of you, that might be a huge sign, like a big green flag that you're over something or someone or you've healed from some past type things. All right, let's see. Two more cards. What else Virgo needs to know for the weekend? Okay. Five of Cups. Yeah, all right. So it's just a little bit of more information on that. I do feel like there might be a little regret or remorse, but you kind of balance it out. You weigh it out, right? So maybe there's a little bit of sadness in thinking about one or two people from your past and these could be people that have passed away it could be brother sister father mother whomever um there might be a little bit of like yeah you know the five of cups is just uh, just grief maybe a little bit of grief and things like that um or a, a sense of loss but I, I feel like you kind of balance it out here with the two of pentacles you know you kind of get in this place where it's like you know, it's it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm letting it go. I, I'm, I'm able to let this go. I, I balance the, yeah, I feel a little bit sad, but I also have happy memories at the same time. So it's very even keel, very stable and very balanced. So it feels positive. Even though it may not be 100% positive, I feel like it's it doesn't take you down like you're you're down for the count for the whole weekend it's just one of those things that just something might remind you over this weekend of someone um and you just kind of you dwell for a minute or two and then the feelings come up and that's good that's healthy and then you just kind of let them up bubble to the surface and let them float away up into the sky right so messages of love all right yeah so there is a partnership with someone we did see that at the beginning with the lover's card so there is a possible relationship that is going to move to a sacred union or marriage yes so if you don't have somebody in your life right now you might come across this person over the weekend you know like it's cupid's arrows love become love struck that kind of thing where this is going to be the person and it could even be where you start up with a friendship which actually leads to more this feels like a long-term thing a long-term prediction again your finances are showing up here so something here financial challenges pay attention it's so funny because i was just as i'm doing this reading earlier today i, I realized i lost my debit card i couldn't find it anywhere i still can't <laughs> i'm like what's going on what's going on i don't lose things so there you go financial challenges could be anything as small as that you know just a bill you forgot to pay or maybe you need to put like a um, fraud alert out on your bank account or something okay you also need to have some firm boundaries this weekend we already saw that so from people who are trying to or people who are not stepping up to do clean their side of the street and you're offering to clean their side of the street it's time for you to say no that's your yard that's your street you deal with it you take care of it. it's not my responsibility that's what your boundaries need to be because um you might not really maybe you feel an obligation uh, I don't know, but there's something here that's saying, um, no, you just need to keep, take care of like your own yard. Then that's a symbolic for, you know, just self-care. You got to take care of yourself. You can't do it for everybody, right? Unless you have very tiny children, that's the exception, or um, your pets, your pets, or you're caring for someone who's like disabled or el elderly, okay? Those, those are the, but <laughs> anything else... <laughs> now clock in clock out go home <laughs> all right anything else here okay a little time apart over this weekend will do you some good time apart from who some distance is going to help bring clarity some family members time apart from work 
time apart from friends or neighbors, a little time on your own. Okay. Yep. I, I know, I know my Virgos are down with that. I know Virgos like, yes, bring it. <laughs> Most Virgos do enjoy that. They enjoy their solitude. Okay. Is there anything else? Just a couple more messages here from the Cosmic Insights. Let's see. Okay. Beautiful guardian, a lost loved one watches over you, Virgo. You do have a guardian angel. And you also have the message here. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. See how this plant is just starting to sprout leaves, right? Trust the process. That's what I'm hearing. Trust the process this weekend. One more. All right. And you've got some challenges, which we did see with the Ace of Swords that I felt like you were going to be able to overcome some conflicts, okay? You can have some ding, 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 new ideas, okay? Um, so whatever challenges. So it's funny because I was thinking, I like my life. I, I believe in um, working smart, not hard. Uh, and I try to always find ways to circumvent extreme stress by finding smart ways to do things rather than working myself to death, right? Just to accomplish, just to get to the same goal right? There's a million rivers to the sea. So use your noggin and think about the quickest, fastest, and smartest way to accomplish your goal without killing yourself. Once you figure that out, Virgo, right? Then you're good to go and you will have more time to do the things that make you happy, right? So find the smartest and the quickest the fastest way to accomplish your goals without killing yourself. I don't know what that message means for someone, but it's definitely for someone. Okay. All right. So we have Sagittarius, Libra, and Virgo. Um, someone's in California. I'm hearing lilacs. Somebody likes lilacs. Uh, 1969, 1981, September 20. August 29, someone's 51, letter F, oh, calf, oh, be careful, watch your calf, be careful of your calf, don't pull any muscles, or maybe somebody's, there's a calf being born, do you have a farm, <clears throat> we have the initial M, 1978, okay, somebody's born in May, all right, we have September 8th, 1990, we have the letter A, family very important this weekend. August 31st, someone's 32, or someone is 31. We have the letter V, 1965, 47. The letter E, T, uh, someone's in, someone is Vietnamese, or is going to have some Vietnamese food this weekend. There's something here to do with a vet, taking an animal to a vet, or someone might be studying to become a vet. Um, okay, so I'm hearing Virginia or the Virgin Islands, and I'm getting Alabama. Someone's in Florida, Louisiana, Timbuktu. <laughs> I know it's not a place. <laughs> okay. Oh, Teton. Teton. Oh, did you hear that plane? Teton. Grand Canyon or Teton, T-E-T-O-N, they just said T Teton something. I heard of that, but I'm not sure. Teton something. All right, let's get some charms. Let's see what you have here, you guys. Okay. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, they were just saying lemon lime soda. Lemon lime soda. Okay. Um, okay, two things. They're giving me two things here. Number one, they're saying Heisman Trophy or something to do with American football. And also somebody is an artist. And I'm getting the name Bunny. Bunny. Okay. You also have uh, a shamrock here. 
So there's a connection to Ireland or being Irish. Okay. Again, you have this key. key. It's a blue key. Um, somebody's getting a key to um, a resort. Re receiving a key to a resort this weekend or um, maybe a timeshare or uh, keys to a cruise. I don't know what that means. I mean, it could be tickets, tickets for a cruise receiving this weekend. And also a bright white star. This is giving me North Star vibes. So maybe you'll see the North Star this weekend if you're out and about. Um, but also they're saying, look out for a bright white light up in the, up in the sky that's not it's unusually bright where where i think the north star is unusually bright but now they're saying no that's it's not a star it's going to look like a star maybe a shooting star but it's not you might see something like that over the weekend all right virgo so i'm gonna leave that there for you hope you have a great weekend you guys i'll be back here on sunday as per usual if you want to get a personal reading you can book with me um just go over to my booking site all the links everything you need is in the description box below also if you want to become a member of my channel to get exclusive bonus content that uh if you're only if you're a vip member you'll have access to just click that join button and that will allow you to access all of that those videos and exclusive content all right you guys love you have a great weekend i'll see you back here next week bye i just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only 